It's been a season to forget for Odell Beckham so far. Just nine catches for 124 yards. Stephen A., yesterday you called for the Browns to trade Odell Beckham Jr. shortly after he spoke to the media and admitted he's not happy. Here's OBJ. It sucks. At the end of the day, losing sucks, period. Uh, I can't sit there and lie like I don't want the ball. Like I, like I tell you, every time I get up here, I'm, they don't pay James Harden for defense. You know what I mean? He's a shooter. Like I, I feel like I'm a shooter, you know? Ryan, talk to me. Do you think Odell and Baker can win a Super Bowl together? I do. I, I do. But, I mean, it's not, it's, not, it's not just about Odell and, and Baker, right? It's about this team as a whole. And in some of the other comments that Odell made, he did say, you know, James Harden is a shooter. You know, James Harden has to shoot the ball, and he feels like he's a shooter, and he wants to get the ball. But he did ultimately talk about winning. He did ultimately talk about he understands the way the Cleveland Browns play offense. And you mentioned some of the statistics, Molly. And when you just listen to the statistics, you're like, oh, Odell ain't, ain't doing crap. But then you yeah. go back and you watch the film of the Minnesota Vikings and you realize he's wide open in the end zone on a whip route double move that Baker Mayfield misses him on. He beats Cam Dantzler down the sideline and Baker Mayfield throws it at the back of Dantzler's helmet. He also has a switch route late in the game in which he's wide open and Baker throws it toward the sideline instead of up the field. And so there were opportunities to hit him and then in the Los Angeles Chargers game, he just wasn't targeted very often. But when you watch Odell Beckham Jr., he still has juice. He's still a dude that beats one-on-one -on -one coverage consistently go back to the Chicago Bears game where I think Odell was like five for 77 he also had a reverse for that he picked up a first down on that's the way that Odell Beckham should be used he should be a part of the offense not the offense he should be allowed to eat but he doesn't have to be force fed and I think if Baker Mayfield can get that in his head if they can figure out that chemistry and that understanding in a consistent way then it makes this team better but it is going to be on Baker to play better than he has the last three weeks. Or it doesn't matter if they have Odell Beckham Jr., uh, Randy Moss, Jerry Rice, and Terrell Owens. This team won't win the Super Bowl, not because of Odell and Baker, just because of Baker. RC, <clears throat> I'll defer to your judgment because I appreciate your breakdown. and I know how much you know football. But I'm going to ask you a question that's highly sensitive, but a Super Bowl champion mm -hmm. such as yourself is qualified to answer. I understand when two guys are not on the same page and, you know, bad passes are thrown, wrong routes are ran, all of this other stuff. Have you ever seen a star caliber wide receiver ignored this much by his quarterback? See, see, Stephen A., I, I don't want to give Baker that because I think Baker goes through an internal battle, battle with dealing with Odell Beckham Jr. the right way. I okay. think he, he loves Odell Beckham Jr. If you watch Baker Mayfield, he seems like he wants to be liked. I feel like when he doesn't get Odell the ball enough, he forces it to him. And then after forcing the football to him against Minnesota, he said, oh, I forced it to him too much. I didn't play well. Let me not look for him enough. And so I think this is something that Baker Mayfield has been dealing with since Odell Beckham Jr. got there, and he just still haven't figured it out. The reason I'm asking you that question is because, you know, obviously, you know, I, I, I brought up the word sabotage, and I felt that way. And... I, I want to mm -hmm. make sure I'm clear about what I'm saying. I don't think that Baker Mayfield hates Odell Beckham Jr. or he's not friendly, he right. doesn't care about of him. Course. I'm not trying. That's not what I mean. What I mean is, right. like I said to Tim Tebow on hour number one, there are people who want to win at all costs, and then there are people who want to win their way. And when I think about that's Odell true. Beckham Jr., and I think about how big time he is, not just as a talent, but the level of attention that he draws. I think about what Cleveland was like without him last year and how smooth things seem to be for Baker yeah. Mayfield. And then I get to this season, and I say, you know what? If Odell Beckham Jr. is out on that field and that brother is doing his thing and he's drawing that level of attention because he's catching touchdowns and everybody's looking at him and he's celebrating and he's dancing and he's doing whatever it is that he's doing and the attention is drawn to him and away from Baker Mayfield, is it possible and is it plausible that that may be something that Baker Mayfield doesn't necessarily like? Because I'm looking at a guy in Odell Beckham Jr. 
if you get this brother, what he can do after the catch can also make a quarterback yeah. look good. He can turn a five-yard yeah. pass into a 70-yard game or a 70-yard TD. He's that electrifying of a talent when he's healthy. And it's, it, it just boggles my mind when I look at the maturation that has taken place within Baker Mayfield, who has clearly gotten better and better and better and more focused, and they're winning football games, and he no longer has more progressive commercials than wins. Now it's flipped around the right <laughs> way, and all of this stuff is going on. But somehow, some way, while you've learned to do everything else right, the hiccup in your game is that you're missing Odell Beckham Jr. while he's open. This is the kind of stuff that yeah. I don't expect to see or hear from somebody. And that's where I'm going with this. With, I don't know the reason why. I don't know Baker Mayfield. I'm not trying to sca- cast any aspersions on, on, his, on his character in terms of him having some beef with Odell. That's not what I'm saying. What yeah. I'm saying is somewhere along the line, it makes absolutely no sense that that would be the guy that you miss of all people that you're on the field with. That would be the guy you miss. Yeah. I have a hard time accepting that. Yeah, it, it seems it seems extreme, extremely strange, uh, but I'm with you. I don't think that's about Baker Mayfield's character. I don't think it's about Baker Mayfield and Odell Beckham Jr. not getting along. I don't even know if it's about Baker wanting a certain level of attention because you get attention when you make big plays. You get attention when you win, and there's no person on that team more capable of making big plays than Odell Beckham Jr. It's just been a strange two and a half years for Baker Mayfield and Odell Beckham Jr., and they still have haven't found the answer. What we do know is the statistics say that Baker Mayfield is better when Odell Beckham Jr. is not on the field. And that's strange to me that you can have better statistics when one of the best players at his position isn't on this field on the field as opposed to when he's not. Listen, it certainly would be electric if they could get some chemistry going. That's for sure. All right, we're going to keep it moving here because, RC, there's a lot of things we want to get your take on. Still to come, this, John Gruden's dismissal. How will the Raiders be able to focus on the field moving forward? RC answers that. Plus, should Stephen A. be nervous about the Cowboys? Clearly the best team in the NFC East now. Dallas discussed shortly. Stay here. <laughs> 